Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. In partakers of his divine nature. Praise the Lord. Now, there are seven gospels that the Bible, please listen, we'll get back to our text for tonight, but there are seven gospels that are communicated in scripture. And the very first of them in order of priority is called the gospel of salvation. Please say after me, the gospel of salvation. The gospel of salvation is a revelation of the father's love john chapter 3 and verse 6 16 for god so loved the world a revelation of the father's love demonstrated by and through the substitutionary sacrifice of jesus please understand the gospel of salvation the father god so loved the world. That was his motivation. His motivation was love. His motivation was not power. His motivation was love. His motivation was not influence. His motivation was love, not self. So for God so loved the world. And he proved that love by giving Jesus his son. Are we together? You will be surprised that many believers don't even know about this story that God so loved the world and he gave Jesus. Why did he give Jesus? Not just so that we will be saved. Jesus came as many things. Number one, he came as an example of what it means to be led by the Spirit because that's the condition to be a son of God. So he came as a sample. Until then, no one had demonstrated sonship to the degree that satisfied the heart of the Father. Are we together now? So Jesus came to show us the way to please the Father. Jesus came as a substitute. He eventually will be a substitute in what we call his passion. The journey that started from the upper room where the communion was. That's not what I'm teaching tonight. It's just important for us to have this background that the substitutionary sacrifice of jesus did not start on the cross he started on the upper room then the upper room and then from there to gethsemane and then the cross and then the grave and then the throne not the sky remember the song says from the grave to the sky no from the grave right to the throne the lord said to my lord sit down at my right hand not hang around the air until i know what to do with you the lord there was a real coronation service that happened are we together but the story is not really where it's not the point of advantage it is the opportunity for man to understand that message and respond to it that whosoever beautiful statement whosoever there are some things in scripture that are not for whosoever therefore there are specific conditions but when it has to do with the substitutionary sacrifice of christ he says whosoever believes in him should not perish but have zoe 
not just life everlasting not just eternal life but the life of god are we together so that that's the privilege um, that we stand to enjoy and then in addition to that we are now open please listen in addition to just receiving the life of god we have become one with him by the spirit these are the basic doctrines of the christian faith you are not a christian if you don't understand this doesn't matter if you can raise the dead if you do not understand these foundational truths these are the pillars of the christian faith praise the lord then we now begin to explore in detail the advantage listen to my communication the advantage of jesus in our life there is there is a real advantage and one of it paul was teaching the church in ephesus chapter one please give it to us again media verse three he now says blessed be the god and father of our lord jesus christ which lord jesus christ jesus christ who died and now had become lord that's why you see the word lord jesus christ the lord the master the exalted jesus christ not just the one that walked upon the earth the one who is now exalted who had blessed us are you seeing he didn't just die so the father through jesus had blessed us with all spiritual blessings but the nature of this blessing is that they are spiritual in context they reside in the heavenly places and that you will only access them through christ meaning if you do not encounter jesus christ you cannot have these blessings there are many believers who do not love jesus and are not interested in him but will continue to insist that they must partake of everything that has to do with the faith life it starts with jesus it starts with jesus the alpha remember our teaching the omega alpha omega starts with jesus so let's go to first peter now chapter two celebrating easter is useless until we are able to understand the advantage of that which christ has done and to engage with understanding the systems that will bring us into that experience so we continue to press by faith as faithful students in the school of the spirit trusting the holy spirit to guide us day by day and hour by hour to a point of comprehension where we will know god desires that we know and that we walk in the experience of that knowledge first peter chapter 2 from verse 9 let's read together one to read but ye are a chosen generation uh -huh. a royal priesthood and holy nation a peculiar people stop peter the apostle is teaching here and he's reminding us that we are not only believers are we together that the scope of the sacrifice of christ does not just make us believers but that in addition to believers we are all these a chosen generation not just a generation a select generation number two he calls us a royal priesthood a mix of kings and priests that we are both kings and we are priests remember revelations 5 and verse 10 tells us also on this and then it says we are a holy nation a nation of people and then it says we are a peculiar people then he says that we should show forth the praises of him who has called us who is the him jesus jesus who called us out of darkness into his marvelous light let's let's stay here a bit you need to understand this don't trivialize this because your victory depends on it to show forth the praises of a man who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light many of us understand what we are being called out of but we do not understand what we are being called into 
we have taken our time to study what we are being called out of we know we understand the length and the breadth of what he has called us out of but the bible never said that he called us out and left us he called us out of a dimension and a realm then into another one marvelous light marvelous light marvelous light this statement marvelous light is what qualifies us to be called a chosen generation please listen a royal priesthood a holy nation a peculiar people that means take away the experience of marvelous light we cannot be all of this the presence and our access to this mystery that the bible calls marvelous light are we together now you need to understand that this marvelous light we are talking about um light in scripture is symbolic of illumination knowledge truth are we together so when the bible says marvelous light here it means a body of knowledge finite spiritual knowledge please you have to understand this it doesn't just mean any spiritual knowledge that means there is an exact combination of spiritual knowledge that is equal to marvelous light just because you gather any spiritual truth it doesn't equal marvelous light it may equal light but there is a spiritual combination hidden here that if you possess that body of knowledge and you apply it you must reflect these possibilities a manifestation of a life that is a chosen generation a peculiar personality are we together they will see the king priest dimension walking in its apex marvelous light that's a secret there marvelous light my accessing the light you know when i started out with the lord i thought that every truth of the kingdom was equally valuable and it seemed like a sin to believe that some truth you know people say truth is truth that is true in terms of the origin and the purity of it but in terms of its stratification and its assignment no sir no sir there are many lights but there are two great lights it is possible to have 10 of certain information but you can have one of another kind of information and just that one that you have will surpass by far the effect that will be in your life by accessing these things so please you need to understand that you are not just growing because you are encountering truth you have to grow when you encounter certain kinds of truth designed to produce an effect in your spiritual life all scripture the bible says is written by the holy ghost is profitable it says holy men wrote as they were moved by the spirit is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction in righteousness and so on and so forth so any dimension of truth you find in scripture will have some value to your life but as far as being exceptional remember you are mandated to show the praises of god that means that the gospel rendition of this is let your light so shine before men that they might see your good deeds and glorify notice how god continues to desire the praise and the glorification that not just comes from singing comes from a standard of excellence and a standard of life that the saints emit and the secret to that possibility is marvelous light there are many believers who want to be great there are many believers who want to be anointed there are many believers who want to go far there are many believers who want to have influence and we continue to guess around spiritual principles that we think may lead us to these truths and here and there there are books that are written across and they seem to supply some level of value but let me tell you this one of the greatest blessings that can happen to a believer is that you find a man or you find a platform that handpicks the spiritual principles that are allocated for your victory 
and feeds you with it like you have a plethora you have a buffet of spiritual principles and not all of them believe me now please don't misunderstand what i'm saying not all of them have equal value as far as your relevance and your producing glory is concerned no there are certain truths that if you don't know regardless of the ones you know it will still look like jesus is not lord over your life just because you cooked well and you didn't put salt or something it may look well but it will taste not the way it's supposed to taste are we together now yes there are many believers who continue to pride in the fact that they are accumulating spiritual information and many of the information that that is being accumulated number one it's not been vetted number two it's not arranged systematically do you know that truth does not just bless the arrangement the order of truth matters like a spiritual house look at this room for instance imagine that we pick the zinc and we put it immediately after the foundation you don't have a house the order and the arrangement matters it is in the arrangement that the house is produced just because you have the materials the spiritual combination of these truths to the end that it produces this is where many believers default so here and there we can say i know this i know this i know that but at what point in your spiritual journey do you need this are we together so when truths are dispensed we are not just giving you head knowledge we are also arranging it and rearranging it so that it can now be useful and productive to our lives if you're with me please say amen, amen. there are people today who have been around church for a long time but they may never be anointed because of how they were taught never never they may never walk in the anointing because of how they were taught now the same thing you know about the anointing they have been taught but the arrangement will not produce the anointing in their lives there are believers for instance the the moment they get born again the next subject they hear is prosperity and money that kind of arrangement is not only bad it's dangerous now that is truth but because of the way it was arranged you cannot call it marvelous light it will it will create a lopsided christian a lost driven christian are we together the language of sacrifice the language of service will not be in the dictionary of that kind of christian the entire scope of his understanding about god is someone who just blessed us to enjoy and that's not a good philosophy because when you sell that idea to that believer eventually when things do not change and things do not square up he will leave god in a heartbeat because you have told him that the primary purpose for his encounter with christ is just for him to enjoy now that does not mean that this dimension is not in the dealings of god but it's too early there are things that the believer needs to know and appreciate before the subject of prosperity comes in there are many believers today who keep shouting oh god why me is because they have not been taught they have been taught that when believers face challenges it is proof that they don't have faith you see that's why i'm saying it's important you are taught so when they lose loved ones or something tragic happens like the dear lady who said armed robbers came to their house i hope you know that's not a muslim that's a christian many christians today cannot explain when something very sad and tragic happens to people who love god they search around and the arrangement of the doctrine that was given them does not allow an explanation to certain situations i don't know if you are following me tonight so when the man of god comes now there is a dead body lying there and they say what happened my father served the lord he even died serving jesus and then the man of God is, is in confusion right now because all you have taught them and the way you have taught them is that whatsoever happens that is negative, listen very carefully, in it, 
God cannot be praised and you have to be blamed and all of that and all of that and he cannot find glory in anything that is negative. That believer is confused. I love God. My father loved God. My mother loved God. But he still died. But there is something you can teach that believer that like Job, you can teach him that the true victory of a believer sometimes is not in what you have gotten but in your love for God even when you don't get some things that they are all called faith that faith is not always about things coming it takes faith to lose things too by faith Abel offered it's not always about coming our concept of faith is that things must come but I'm teaching you that there is a dimension of faith where you can lay things down. It says some women received their death to life. It says others died and didn't come back to life. And all of them he joined it and called it faith. Are you saying that it matters how you are educated spiritually? So every time you engage your faith, it is always for things to come. Just because the Bible says faith cometh. No. Are we together? Yes. So believers have a lot of gaps in their lives and they cannot give God praise. They don't know how to joy and sorrow in persecution. When a believer is persecuted, he does not understand. But in scripture it says, count it all joy, my brethren. Are we not Bible students again? When you face diverse tribulations, it says, knowing this, that the trying of your faith. So what is being tried? Your faith. Listen to what I'm telling you. It's very, very important. You are a Christian and your car breaks down. And now someone stands and says, where is your faith? Your car just broke down. Now, please, I'm a man of faith and they make you feel guilty you stand in front of that car and you are sad you are angry you are even ashamed to call a mechanic you would have called a mechanic in 30 minutes to fix that car but because your ego has been provoked you can stroll to the back of that car and lie down there and say god prove yourself you see because you have been taught that if that does not happen it's, it's a sign that you're, you are not growing spiritually our indices to measure spiritual growth is very poor and very terrible i don't know if someone is getting blessed tonight just follow what i'm teaching you there are many people who have become poor in church today because they continue to press to realms they have not gotten to as a proof that they are people of faith because something about our teaching has jumped the law of process and so we teach people that if it is God, yes, Jehovah Shab Shab is alive, but let me tell you, the way the tree grows, I mean, the dealings of God in our environment should teach us how God builds. When a woman carries seed, no matter how anointed she is, including Mary, Jesus grew slowly in Mary's stomach. Not even his being the word suddenly made him an adult and said, Mary, I want to come out. He grew slowly. So it is spiritual to subscribe to the law of process. So you find people under pressure. I must buy this car this year. I must buy this cloth this year. I must go around 10 countries this year. And sometimes we lost driven men of God help to endorse this kind of futile agenda. Oh, let me pray for you. If you don't go around 10 countries this year, you are not a Christian. If you don't do this, you are not a Christian. And we propose, please don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that God cannot make for these things. Remember, it's our year of extraordinary fruitfulness. It is true that there are truths when you know they will set you free. There are things when you don't know, you will remain in bondage forever. Hallelujah. So if you see a brother now with his 200 naira trouser, his 1,000 naira shirt, you know, if God tells you that brother is a man of faith, you will not believe. Because our definition of faith is that the results must be there to show. And it's very dangerous because there are people who are doing well, but they leave their well-doing and compromise on that understanding because they are searching for results. 
There are many wealthy people who don't have faith. But simply because of the abundance of physical results, you may think that that already means a lot of faith. Let me tell you this. It matters how you are taught the ways of God. It matters. The beauty of your life will not come just because you have truth. It must be arranged to be profitable. When all else fell for Job, he had a solid foundation. You know, many times when we read the book of Job, we don't understand the entire scope. Do you know what it meant for Job to be there and those who once depended on him will pass and look at him and say, my God, look at this man, look at your wife, look at your useless life, dogs are licking your sores. Didn't I teach you that when God is silent, he's speaking? And that you must learn what he's saying when he's silent. God, why are you not talking? And God replies and says, understand what I'm saying. When I'm silent, it is a voice. Hallelujah. Let me tell you this. I truly live a very peaceful life. And the peace that is in my life has come from knowledge. There are things that I have learned and I have known about God that has culminated to stability and rest. This Sabbath, you see, you don't enter into it just haphazardly. There is a body of knowledge that will bring you into your Sabbath and you can rest. You can lie down in a boat that is boisterous and like Jesus, you are sleeping. You can stand before Goliath and know Goliath is going down. What do you know about this Jesus that we celebrate and his word that can stand the times and the days that are coming? Then let's flip to the positive side. What do you know about the word that is responsible for results in your life? If I ask you to stand up today at random and I say, tell me the principles you know in the dealings of God with men that provide for results, what will you say? I wish I had the time would have run a mic just on three or four people. Just at random. And I say, are you a believer? Yes. Born again? Yes. Filled with the Holy Spirit? Yes. You can even pray in tongues. Let's see if you want to. And then I'll now ask you, I'll say, now with, with, yours, with your knowledge, become a lecturer, become a mentor in five minutes and coach us on the pathway to victory. How do you guide a person who needs restoration in his life? What do you know about God? What is the system in the kingdom that is allocated for that outcome? Or are you just going to guess and hope and say, well, just pray. I know prayer answers. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer. He was in the temple. He was not praying. He was studying. There were many times he did other things. Prayer is a key, not the key. A key. There are many other keys. And if all you have is one key, you will only enter one part of a house. And sometimes that even that house, that part you enter may not be where you are looking for. If you have the key to a toilet and you are hungry, you are in trouble. You have a key, but there is nothing in a toilet that will solve your current predicament. Are we together? And sometimes the way you open the door to a kitchen is not the way you, you can just turn it once and the door of a toilet is open. But sometimes the door of a kitchen may require opening up and down. Then you push systematically. If you don't know it, there is bread in the kitchen. So God will tell you there is bread in the kitchen, but you are dying of hunger because of understanding. You know, if we spend half the time, my brothers and my sisters, that we use shadow boxing and guessing around and become like Mary, Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things, but one thing is needful. 
to just stay and say lord show me this thing show me this thing it may take time but guide me spirit of the living god you are here to guide me any spiritual knowledge that does not translate eventually into your victory are we together now and the advancement of god's kingdom and your progressive knowledge of god is completely useless completely useless just because it is spiritual in context does not mean it's useful to your life and your destiny hallelujah so what do you know and what do you not know the entire prayer and fasting will be a time of dishing out spiritual truths let me tell you there is no hope for a man who rejects the understanding of the ways of god that is a truly hopeless man there's nothing you can do even deliverance i've taught you there is a dimension of deliverance that is not conducted it is preached he said to preach deliverance to the captives so there is a dimension of deliverance that is preached it is not the demon that needs to hear that message it is you there is a particular part of deliverance that is for the demon it's not for you so the demon hears the conversation and he's supposed to respond to it but there is a dimension that is for you you are the one who should hear god calls both deliverance so if it's only the demon that is hearing you are still in trouble because both the demon and you should hear something eventually to preach deliverance to the captives so if i cast out that devil and it leaves you and you remain like that i guarantee you my brothers and my sisters you will never be sustainably free and it takes a long time to build conviction don't think one conference is enough to impart conviction it took a long time for the build up of the error to stay in our minds it takes a long time i now understand why great men like kenneth e hagen and all these fathers of faith will stay around certain subjects for many years they were creating convictions notice that some of the churches that we admire the widespread spiritual understanding is because of a level of focus an intentional teaching of certain dimensions of the kingdom again and again so that the average member can come into that comprehension and come into that understanding we continue to make ourselves victims i'm sharing my heart with you because as i look around you know people just as powerful as you know people like uh, Ima, Ima came to share that he went to stand near my wall to touch that there's a dimension of god's grace there but you see the truth is that a day will come you will be somewhere where you you it has to be your personal knowledge of god nigerian believers are very lazy we like to connect with things that quickly bring acceleration it's a system of god's mercy to help you receive results while you learn because if god waits for the result to reflect your current knowledge you may never grow so he gives you an opportunity to tap into possibilities that are higher than your level of transformation so that while you are enjoying the result you can take time to grow because he knows that growth takes time so just because you are receiving results by partnering with a grace it is not a license to remain spiritually down you have to rise so that one day it is your own grace and walk with God that will help another believer. Imagine if Jacob stopped at the God of Isaac and the God of Abraham. Today we will be robbed of a dimension that his knowledge of God has provided for us. Are we together? Spiritual knowledge that we are a peculiar people because of this the one pursuit that you must make and i'll talk a little about that shortly this year is to cry for light light illumination light light open up my eyes light my lamp god is not a herbalist 
He's a miracle worker, but he's not a herbalist. He will require partnership from you through understanding for you to get any results. Whatever it is that God has done in and through this ministry that is worth giving him glory for came by partnership through understanding. Faith cannot be faith until it is sponsored by understanding. The foundation of faith is understanding. You have to know the systems that are allocated for the results that you desire. Then when you are convicted about it, then you act in accordance to what has been told you. And then you will receive results. Very, very important. Luke chapter 19 from verse 41. One of the two reasons why Jesus wept. Jesus did not just weep in the grave of Lazarus alone. But Jesus wept. And when he was come near, he beheld the city. Now he sees beholding a city and did what? Wept over it. Now, if Jesus is crying over something, you need to find out what he's crying about. Next verse. Saying, this is why he's weeping. If thou hast known, even thou, at least in this thy day, the things which belong unto your peace. This is why Jesus is crying. He says, but now they are hid from your eyes. Imagine Jesus looking at you and crying and saying, I wish you knew this. I wish you knew this. I wish you knew this. Have you, I don't know if this has happened to you, that you misplaced something or maybe you are looking for your handkerchief and it's on your shoulder and you are going from room to room in anger and waiting to see someone with it so that you will injure the person. Suddenly you will find out that it was that person was you. The things that pertain unto your peace. The things that pertain unto your peace. So there are things that pertain unto peace. There is a science to your peace. There are equations that make for your peace. Your peace there talks of your prosperity, your greatness, your health, your longevity, your well-being. The things, not the thing, the things is a body of knowledge that pertain unto your peace. He says, but now they are hid from you. There is what you can know and your church will never remain small. It doesn't matter the darkness in the land. It is your knowledge. There is what you know that you will never beg forever till Jesus comes. It is true. Sponsored by knowledge. There is what you will know that will command favor and the help of men to your life forever. There is what you know that it doesn't matter the negative things that happen to you. There is a system to turn it around for your good. Jesus wept over that city. Let me show you a scripture. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 2. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 2. Please read it with me. The people that walked in darkness have seen a not just a light and then it says they that dwell in the land of the sh how can a man dwell here is that an a habitable place he said but there are people that dwell in the land of the shadow of death upon them what happened the light shined notice that the solution to this category of people is light those who walked in darkness a version says they that sat in darkness sat in darkness sitting is a state of rest that means you are not even aware that it is darkness until the light comes he says they have seen a great light and then he says that those that have dwelt in the land of the shadow of death upon them light has shined that means every time there is darkness in your life and you cry god answers you the official way of answering prayer is sending light that's how god sends light his anointing is in his light if you reject his light you will never never access the power 
that helps people. Please understand what I'm teaching. Apostle, why are things going on like this in my life? The answer will be light. There is a dimension of God's light. Why will my finances not rise? There is a dimension of light. Why am I not excelling in life and ministry? There is a dimension of light. So when God wants to help a man, let me show you how he helps a man. His light comes, come my dear, and he brings you out. He brings you out. Watch this. He's bringing you out of darkness. The coming of his light is your deliverance. No matter what happens to you, if light has not come, you are not free. If you like, go out. Once there is no light, you are not free. Spiritual illumination. As God's system of deliverance. He said, I am the light of the world. Then later on, he says, ye are the light of the world. That means we help the world. Not just by building structures, but by introducing an understanding. Listen, the assignment of believers is not just to build physical structures. Remember, the kingdom is a spiritual kingdom. The first, you help men, not just by doing physical things. Please listen to me. If I give this guy 1,000 naira, money is physical. And anything physical is finite. You help this brother by introducing life. Are we together now when the light of god comes it is able to translate this gentleman and activate possibility in it, possibilities in his life so you knew him to be someone who is standing here remember years ago this gentleman was holding his admission letter and today he's a doctor authorized to be able to handle whatever situation within the level of his knowledge light there are some dimensions that even as a doctor he cannot handle now if another kind of light comes it will move him forward we move forward by light we move forward my brothers and my sisters by light we increase by light so when satan wants to destroy you what do you think is the easiest way to destroy you to find a way to do something to the light or to do something to you the easier one is to do something to you so that you can make the word of god of non-effect are we together now this is what has happened to so many people there are people who will hear the things i'm saying now and think that oh this is it really important but look at the situations in their life do you know let me tell you my brothers and my sisters in as much as we continue to pray here at the miracle service and i will keep doing it all my life and with all my heart but let me tell you the sustainable way of victory is to command your result by knowledge when you obtain a result that was not sponsored by knowledge you will fear the result because you know it will not last are we together now yes so this gentleman is here at the mercy of light this dear lady is here at the mercy of light my brother is here at the mercy of light oh god change my life and god says then open up your heart to light and if satan wants to confuse you and sees that you have made up your mind to get light he can bring not the light you need he will allow light come but it's not the light that will solve your problem so you can get a book and be reading and learning mm, wow you are nodding your head but you still remain there and you find out that the light you are receiving now is not needed for the situation illumination they that walked in darkness have seen a great light a great light let's look at a parable that jesus gave uh, and then we'll come back here jesus gave a very interesting parable luke chapter 15 please Luke chapter 15 from verse 8 to 10. Notice, if you read the entire Luke chapter um, 15, it, it, it reveals the kingdom as something that was missing and found. Missing and found. Three parables were in that Luke chapter 15, including that of the prodigal son. So the, and it, it now gives the kingdom a similitude of something that was lost and then found something that was lost and then found this is one of the parables it says either what woman having 10 pieces of silver and if she lose one 
dot not what look at how the woman is approaching a problem now once upon a time she had 10 pieces of silver and then one got missing it's a representation of a dimension and look at how the woman recovers she does not just go around carelessly she knows it is somewhere but she needs to be specific she lights a candle and then she will use the light of the candle to do what to start sweeping the house and seek diligently by light till she finds it and seek diligently sweeping is not alone it's not enough you must seek diligently passionately lord there has to be a way you open scripture and you are crying out your heart and then light comes there's one thing i know about light when your light comes you must arise it is true it is true if you remain in a position the solution is not the strength of satan my brothers and my sisters the solution is light or enough light she has 10 pieces of silver she loses one and what happens she lights a candle neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel this woman is going around i must find the coin i thought she has nine more the same way if she doesn't master how to find coins the ninth one will lose the eighth one are you seeing the deception i like this woman whoever she is is a wise woman you don't wait till you have two coins left before you will not have the motivation to find it the moment one was missing she said i won't give life a chance whatever made the first one fall will make the second one fall until i master how to find it now the woman found what was missing let me tell you how satan deceives us one area of your life may not be doing well and many areas are doing well and you say it doesn't matter you won't give it the diligence then another area is not doing well it doesn't matter i won't give it diligence then another area is not doing well it doesn't matter are you seeing usually the areas you are focusing on satan will not touch it first he will touch the areas you will run to when he touches that one when he's done then eventually something happens and you turn and find out that eight or nine areas are gone but there are people when one thing is not going on well your bible lord there has to be light there must be a way there must be a way revelations don't just come when you pray revelation comes when you stay you stay prayer alone does not bring you see there are many people let me tell you this any successful person will tell you there is a place of diligence and there is the labor dimension of god's word i wish that anything you are looking for you will just find overnight no there are times that your time will be years will be months will be many years but no matter how long it is stay because when you find it the world will know you have found it it is costly to assume you have found it be sure early that you have found it because you may assume you have found it until life needs it and you cannot bring it out you have not found it they are alive to those who find them and health to their flesh are we together now this is a very powerful scripture and i want you to learn that when people are sitting in darkness the solution the solution you know i travel quite extensively to go and minister many times when i get to a place with within the level of the grace that god has given me i can know what the problem is within minutes i know you can look at a man and know what his problem is and know what the solution is and if that person is not willing to take the solution then your heart breaks there are people today who come for counseling some of you join the queue for counseling you are standing for counseling and you are trying to tell me what is wrong apostle a b c and like a doctor i already know this is a problem and usually i can tell them okay get one two three koinonia messages and listen to and i just touch their head and you see the anger the annoyance sometimes you know 
they are expecting to touch me i didn't fall i didn't do anything i will tell the person get this and that message usually they will start moving as if they are going there and just turn and walk away now please don't feel bad you have tied your hands by yourself the system works with light the system works with light the system works with light nobody wins by mistake the system works with light so if you really want to be victorious your assignment is to be a student of light and this is what we are going to be doing the seven days is not just a time to pray and fast blindly is this not the kind of fast i have commanded it says then shall your light break forth shall your light break forth my brothers and my sisters we arise by light i look at my life today and i look at many things i did not know and sometimes tears just come out from my eyes imagine that i knew it and i wonder how many other things i do not know what do you know about life what do you know about men what do you know about demons what do you know about god what do you know about time what do you know about wealth what do you know about greatness what do you know about failure what do you know about darkness what do you know about light what do you know about defeat what do you know about victory what do you know about jesus what do you know about satan That's where the victory lies so a believer can be mentored to become victorious not to become a church member meaning i can pick these three people right now and say look come and i will teach you the ways of god micah chapter 4 zechariah chapter 4 that's the assignment that the mountain of the lord's house give us micah chapter 4 please that it shall come to pass in the last days listen to the assignment of the church the last days that the mountain of the lord's house micah chapter 4 shall be established in the top of the mountains and it shall be exalted above the hills and people shall do what flow to it next verse it says and many nations how many nations many shall come and say come let us go up to the mountain of the lord to the house of the god of jacob and he will teach us his ways they are there in search of light isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1 it says arise shine for your light has come arise shine because you now know arise shine because you are no longer in ignorance arise shine because the power and the fear that comes with ignorance is broken amplified says arise from the depression and the prostration that circumstances have kept you rise to a new light arise from the depression the prostration which circumstances have kept you they kept you through darkness they didn't press you physically they did something to your spiritual understanding and kept you there 80 percent of jesus's ministry was teaching notice how he made apostles he did not just make apostles there were times early in the morning they would go to pray but for three days all of you come up the mountain and he will continue to teach he didn't finish the curriculum when he resurrected he would have said everybody this is jesus back to life he says students quickly let's go we have my time i need to sit with you we have 40 more days to round up the course and for 40 days he kept teaching them teaching them on the matters of the kingdom when he was done he said tarry just 10 days you are good to go till today he has not seen a need to come back and say i failed when you give men light you really empower them when you give people money you give them donation when you give people clothes you give them charity but when you give them light you have really helped them giving is not only giving money money is not the only thing to be given 
the most useful thing to be given and that's how you know whether you'll be great or not if the things you like getting are physical you will not go far you must get the things that bring the physical things light show me someone who is in complete ignorance but will sit down and cry to the God of heaven and say, Lord, I confess my ignorance. Show me, show me, open my eyes. He said, open down my eyes that I may behold. That means that this kind of seeing, God must open your eyes. Education cannot give you this kind of light. It can prepare your mind to receive. But only when God takes off the veil, you won't know there is a veil till he takes it off. And then you say, my God, this is it. This is it. I found my way. I found my way. As haphazard as life is, the knowledge of the ways of God, you begin to connect the dots and see that I thought it was haphazard, but there is a rhythm that synergizes life. Ask any great man, ask anybody who god is using mightily they will be lying if they don't if they tell you they don't know what they are doing it's not true it's not true my passion let me tell you my passion is to continue to dispense this light just letting you know that light will lift you is not enough i must bring the specific light what is the light this is your book what is responsible for bringing this book back to your hands number one is it possible yes you see that but what is the system design remember this is the book he's looking for but he doesn't know how to pick this book between you and this book there is a mystery there is a light that must connect you you can stand and see the book forever and not get it and sometimes you don't just need to listen to God alone. You need to listen to the person who has picked his own. How dare you trivialize the person that picked his own? Oh God, you are my God. And I will ever praise you, oh God, you are my God, and I will ever praise you, oh God, you are my God, and I will ever praise you. I will seek you in the morning. I will learn to walk in your ways. And step by step, you lead me. And I will follow you. Ah. Listen, let me tell you what is happening to you in Koinonia keys are given to you get me a bunch of keys if you can find any you will get to a point my brothers and my sisters listen you will get to a point in your life and your destiny when you will know that life is many rooms and all those rooms need keys look at this this is a bunch of keys this is what god is giving you You've gotten three already, but he said that you need to open 70 rooms to succeed. So you now have three. You need to catch up. But you keep dangling three and say, I have three. And he says, those three rooms are just toilets. I need to give you keys. Listen, these are the ones that will reign in life. They who have paid the price. Lord, my child can be a bad boy. So let me know in advance, what is the key to restore a defaulting child? It may be too late. You don't get the key when you have the child. You get the key before you have the child. I 
I don't pray that any arm robber will steal your car. But what if he steals the car? What is the key? So God continues. Look at what you are doing. He gives you a candle and he says, keep sweeping. And you are sweeping from one meeting to the other. You are sweeping. Sometimes you say, God, I'm tired. I've been sweeping for 10 years and I've just found four keys. God will say, a time will come, you will find a bunch in one place. You will not always pick one by one. There are times when you, you will see many keys in one place. Let me tell you, I submit to you, this is what I've spent my life doing. I'm like a spiritual archaeologist. Show me the keys. What are the keys to the anointing? I know I need this for ministry. I need this for life. And he says, hold the light and keep sweeping. You sweep from Genesis to Revelation, you start again. 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 You don't sweep once. Listen. So while you are sweeping, you will find a key. Sometimes you will not know that what you are looking at is a key till you come back to sweep again. All the keys don't look the same. Listen, listen to me. Please listen to what I'm teaching you. It is not, it is not every key that appears as a key. You will look at some keys and they don't look like it. And the Spirit of God will say, pick it. When you see the kind of door that this key will open, you will know. Let me tell you how you prepare for life. You hold your keys. And then when you begin to walk, you will see people who went ahead of you standing before certain doors. You, you thought they went ahead, but there they are marking time. They only open two doors out of 50. And they are standing. And God says, now remember the key I gave you in 95. Bring it out. Open this door. Remember the key I gave you in 2001. During your retreat, I gave you a small key. Now, this is the small door that the key opens. Oh, step by step, you lead me. And I will all of my days. First step. been given unto you to know to know the keys of the kingdom this is what we do business with in this kingdom the keys our fathers who are gone ahead of us are called fathers because of this when you check them some of them the keys they have they can't hold it again they have looked for bags and when they see you sometimes they look at you and say i know this door i saw it before when i was 27 i saw the door let me tell you how the key looks like so when you read their books and listen to them that's what you are doing they are helping to show you the key let me tell you how satan cheats you sometimes he makes you think the keys you hold are not keys and you throw them and the thing is when you throw them if you are starting with god you will go back you have to remember where you threw them and start sweeping again koinonia hear me you may not have the car yet but you have the key you may not have the house yet but you have the key man of god hear me you have not started the church yet but these are your members hidden in the keys that you hold Listen, this is a very ancient secret that God taught me. Stay, stay on my word. Don't just be educated in terms of knowledge that pops up. Learn it. I remember when I found the law of encounter. Wow, this is the law that controls the power of God. I remember when I found the law of honor. It blew my mind. The master key. There are, I will, ah, why did I go ahead of myself? Because I will show you that there are master keys. When you don't find some keys, you can use some keys to find the ones you are missing. Yes, sir. They are called master keys. Master keys. Master keys. You find these keys. 
and sometimes the door that will open is the door that your child's life depends on it's not every door that relates to you directly some doors are the keys that will feed your family some doors are the keys that will preserve you this is what god gave joseph he said joseph take this let me tell you this look at me those of us waiting for god to just bring physical things to bless you i like you to be matured and think like a believer thank god for miracle a lot but if that's all you are waiting for you are not thinking well this is it i commend you i look he's he's teaching you he's saying look stop wasting your time i hand you over to god and to the word of his grace number one it is able to build you so that you are stable immovable unshakable then number two you will find keys here and you will pick them up you will get to some of these doors and find people who were standing there before you were born they are still there standing at those doors and knocking and knocking and here you come from nowhere that's how you show forth his praises because many of them will be saying this door cannot open we've been at this door from 1951 and here comes a warm jacob empowered by light and you turn it it may be an old door but you swing it open a time will come when they notice that you have mastered the art of opening doors then gentiles will come to your light you will no longer look for them listen this is the cure for complex this is the cure for complex no amount of good clothes good hair good anything can give you what this will give you the real secret of confidence is the holy spirit living in you and the dexterity of the spiritual knowledge that you hold they may persecute you but let's get to a door keep talking while we get to a door keep bragging while we get to a door keep making noise while we get to keep mocking god let us just get to a door every mockery ends when you stand before a door because only a key opens that door some of you are giving diligence to what you are doing now and you may not know what you are doing listen to me my brothers and my sisters people may laugh at you and mock at you you've been in koinonia for five years you have nothing to show no job no husband no money no no ministry no business no nothing and sometimes you feel guilty you have the keys you have just not reached the door and so you continue moving and then one day when you open that door when god is ready to announce you he can fast track 10 years of your life by keeping you on stage and you say son turn the key that opens the door to the anointing and on that day those who knew you will say from whence did this come and you say i found a key god gave me a key from that one meeting you may never rest again with the open doors that come open doors are only open because of the keys that open them they that walked in darkness it says arise from the depression lack of light can bring real depression not just medical depression a state where nothing works in a man's life but many of us ignore the keys and we're chasing shadows if only my uncle gave me five thousand i will never beg again if only um i wear a nice cloth they will think if only i do this and that and god says look 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 you may be in that one room but carry keys Koinonia, this is what God is going to be doing these seven days. Keys. Some of you threw some keys you had. And God is going to be bringing you restoration. More than restoration of a property or restoration of a this and that. This is the real restoration. The keys of the kingdom. Let me tell you, fear a man who has held this. There is no power 
there is no enchantment there is no devil that will throw such a one you keep watching that man your eyes will only keep going higher because of the power of this there are families that do not have even one key they are not born again listen to me from traditional worship this is where they stand father does not have a key mother does not have a key sister does not have a key there are some of you you want to get into ministry no key i'm called i'm anointed they poured oil on my head but were keys given to you you just get up and your first assignment requires 10 keys and you stand there stupefied with no keys you are not ready for life when you do not have keys no matter how you think you are ready listen while we prepare to start tomorrow you are going to have to cry which key don't i have be honest and be sincere tonight's meeting is a charge have i found the key to the grace of god have i found the key to the favor of god have i found the key hallelujah you can hear like like Imam was sharing there was a key that he found so when trouble came they would have killed that person for nothing and he engaged that key don't wait until they give you a report before you start checking and then you say ah i don't have the key is someone challenged tonight brothers learn this key life is harsh let me tell you sincerely i don't mean to discourage you what gives ease to life is the keys that you hold what betides a man that steps into life not holding any key and i will give you the keys of the kingdom I search for these keys and I continue to search for them. And when you find them, they are life to those who find them. They are life to those who find them. You need diligence. You need diligence. My brothers and my sisters who are going to pray, you need diligence. The keys are not just at plain sight. Sometimes you may need to search and search and search and search and search and lie down there. There are times that the Holy Spirit will have to be the one to come and say, look, turn your eyes, look there. That's the key. Some of these keys cannot be found by the eyes of men. It will take the Holy Spirit to open your eyes. For this cause, I bow my knees. Ephesians chapter 1. Please give it to us. And verse 17. He's praying for the church. Ephesians chapter 1. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ. Paul is praying. The Father of glory may give unto you what? The spirit of wisdom. And revelation in the knowledge of him. 18. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened. Some versions say being flooded with light. That you may know. That you may know. That you may know. That's the key. That you may know. Because what you do not know will keep you where you are forever. You would think that life will just move you forward automatically. You will never move forward automatically not in ministry not in career whatever it is even if there are attacks there is what you will need to know for your victory victory will not just come if it would just come like that some of our loved ones would have been free step by step you are leading me and i will follow you all of my days Step by step, you lead me, and I will follow you. As I travel for meetings, 
and I see the wonder working power of spiritual knowledge and the anointing of the Holy Spirit I am grateful to God but sometimes I ask the question what if I didn't have the key do you know someone will die if you don't get this key and that someone may be you it may not always be someone around you arise shine arise shine give God glory John chapter 1 and verse 6 the Bible says there was a man sent from God his name was John it says the same came for a witness verse 7 that he came to bear witness to the truth are we together now and that all men might through his witness believe all men might through that witness believe there are people who will never believe in Jesus until they see your light I've been preparing myself for these seven days Lord what do I not know thank God for what I know but I need the one that I do not know if you have 30 over 100 you got 30 but you failed you didn't get zero but you didn't get enough to pass so ignore the 30 and focus on the 70 even if you have 80 over 100 you see in this kingdom it is worth the 10 sometimes the one key you don't have can rubbish all the other keys that you have one key hezekiah was at the point of death chapter 38 of isaiah the word of the lord came to isaiah the son of amos go and tell hezekiah to put his house in order he will not recover from the sickness a real prophet and hezekiah said man of god i honor you i obey you you can go and he turned his face where you know what to do you can listen to people and say i've heard you may god bless you when you close the door you pick your keys where is it where is it where is it there is a name ah blind Bartimaeus. he had been trying many things but not the key people will pass and he say help me wicked people he didn't open the door one day he learned about the mercy of god and he said come now let that opportunity come as soon as jesus was passing jericho for the last time he no longer said help me he said thou son of david have mercy the moment jesus had that mercy he said, ah the cross the cross mercy because when you call mercy, Jesus must stand. Mercy. What should I do for you that I might see? And that was it. That man would have died there. Thou son of David. Do you know when to call him Jesus and when to call him the son of David? Do you know what occasion necessitates? Thou son of David, have mercy on me. I want to walk in exact knowledge. I want to walk in knowledge, spiritual knowledge. Worthy, worthy is the lamb that was slain and he has redeemed them, us now, unto God. He says, I, I beheld and I saw a lamb that had been slain. Weep not, he said, for the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, is worthy, qualified to open the book and unlock the scroll it says and when i looked i saw a lamb that had been slain having seven horns and seven eyes seven eyes seven eyes the spirit of god providing for perfect revelation seven eyes seven eyes seven eyes apostle when will i rise the day the light to lift you comes will i rise in august if you want to will i rise this april if you want to will i rise in may if you want to the choice is yours your addiction to his light is what culminates to your rising please hear me as i preach to you time will never change anything it will take light the entrance of thy word 
give it light not just knowledge light and then understanding to the simple hallelujah something happened to me today that almost brought tears and i said god how many people may never 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 be able to experience certain dimensions of your hand simply because of this light that they do not know you know many times when i'm praying truly speaking i think in the last one month my prayer life now i don't even know what to say again many times i just kneel down and tears just come out of my eyes thank you thank you for knowledge thank you for knowledge thank you for knowledge thank you for taking away ignorance thank you for taking away ignorance separating me from darkness it's the power of god is someone willing to pray tonight lord i'm tired of where i am i don't want to lie to myself again i'm tired of this realm there is a dimension in god that he seeks to bring me this can't be it god is so much bigger than this oh, this can't be it God is so much bigger than this. One more time. This can be for you. God is so much. Listen. Was it not ignorance that caused Cain? If Cain knew how to do it well, he would have gotten it. Cain did it, but he did it wrongly. God is no respecter of persons, but he will respect his ordinances forever. There is something we do not know. The Bible says the Lord is nigh them that call upon him. Until you have a broken and a contrite heart, say, Lord, I've seen this and I thank you. But open my eyes in this area. Is someone desperate to cry tonight? Open my eyes. 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 Habakkuk chapter 3 and verse 4. Please give us an amplified. It's a popular scripture here. You know it. Let's start from verse 3. Habakkuk chapter 3 from verse 3 and 4. It says, God coming from Teman, you know, and the Holy One from Mount Paran. It says, and his glory covered the heavens and the earth was full of his praise. Verse 4 very powerful scripture it says and his brightness was like the sunlight rays streamed from his hand and there in that light was the hiding place of his power God's power is hidden in his light remember the teaching last week his divine power has given us all things but that divine power comes at the instance of the light so grace and peace is multiplied through knowledge the greater your knowledge the greater your exact spiritual illumination that is the depth and the dimension of power that you will command 
the bible says to be careful lest what you call light be darkness you can call darkness light for many years please open your mouth and cry and say lord damage darkness from my life drive it far from my life drive it far from my life Take away darkness from my life. Take away darkness, oh God, from my life. What are you turning to? Listen. Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you.
said over that is. I know it is my season. Not just because we are fasting again. Enough, it's time to rise. It's time to rise with a testimony that everyone will know that this is the finger of God. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. You know, there's more that's found in you. It's in you. It's in you, Lord. I know there's more that's found in you. Fasting is ushering into a new season because of the light that is coming and because of what you will do with it. Your heart must be prepared to receive it. Listen, just one spiritual law that is well understood can turn your life around. A law of God will turn your life around. of Zion. He said we were like them that dream. Listen, I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. I have seen what will happen in these days. He says when the Lord turn again, turn again, some of you are not just shifting, it's a complete turnaround. Complete turnaround. Complete turnaround. You will know the door that this mystery should open. You will know it. One door opens you up. Another door opens you up. Another door opens you up. Then you pray with understanding. Not just careless prayer without light. 
it says, Born again our captivity like the strings of the leather. Born again our captivity. I agree that it will be a moment of sacrifice. I agree that we are going to be praying and fasting. But watch what happens to your eyes while you fast. Except scripture is not true. It says, Then shall your light break forth. You have been looking, but now you will see that this is it. I've heard about it with the hearing of my ears, but now my eyes have seen it. Now my eyes will see it. Now my eyes will see. Now my eyes will see. And I will walk in it. It will no longer be miracle alert. One moment after another. But you enter into a dimension called the worldly place. It will no longer be one demonstration of the Holy Spirit as told by death walk. But you enter into a realm of mastery. Mastery. God is damaging ignorance, transiting me from being general and putting me in a spectacular position that everyone that sees you will know that you are called by the name of God. It may not look like it, but my brothers and sisters, don't forget that this is God we are talking about. God is changing every in my life. Listen to me. I like you to cause the spirit of distraction. Destruction is a wicked spirit. You will listen to every other thing but the word that will lift you. He said he sends forth his word. The word is a messenger. It will be coming to people. A buffet of big mysteries in the kingdom. Lift your voice and cause destruction. And I'm ministering to your spirit. There is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. There is a stillness in the atmosphere. Oh, come lay down the burdens you have carried. For in the sanctuary Tonight, listen, this is the place where you can lay down whatever burden you have carried because his anointing is in this place. This is not a psychology center where we do human therapy. No. This is the place where the Spirit of God finds residence in the midst of His people. And His power is here to heal. His power is here to deliver. Listen, let me tell you something. Is the devil's objective, everybody listen, is the devil's objective to make sure that he oppresses mankind. The Bible says in John 10.10, 10, the thief, everybody say the thief. Say one more time, the thief. Commit not. That means you will never see Satan except he's coming to do one of these three things. To steal, to kill, and to destroy. Steals dreams, kills colorful destinies, 
destroys lives. But Jesus said, I am come not to start a religion, not to start a movement. I am come that ye may have life. And that life to have it more abundantly. The Bible says he gave us of his spirit. That spirit of adoption. That brings us. Calling many sons into glory. And now in him we can live in the reality of this life. There is a realm above and beyond sickness. There is a realm above and beyond the reach of Satan. Our goal tonight is not just to heal the sick and set the captives free. But to join hands with you to lift you above and beyond the realm that you were operating in before you came. Thou art worthy El Shaddai Help me, drama. Strong and mighty. We praise Jehovah. I am that I am. You are the most high. Every time we gather like this, hovering around this entire congregation, is that blessed spirit of God. The one who can see the needs of everybody. It is not given to me to see the needs of everybody. There are some of you who are coming here with doctor's report. They've concluded on your case. But who shall say a thing and it will come to pass when the Lord has not declared it? And tonight I want you to know that your doctor's report is only one of the many available reports. Ah, there are many other reports and the Bible says whose report will you believe? There are many of us that your situations and circumstances have spoken to you. It may be your friends. It may be your failures of the past. It may be your mistakes of the past. But my Bible tells me remember not the former things nor consider the things of old. For behold, I do a new thing. Jesus died for only three days. After three days, people were still talking about his death, whereas he had resurrected and was doing great things. He only died for three days. He didn't die forever. Is there hope for a tree, though it be cut down? This is the message for some of you. He said, at the scent of water, who has concluded about your destiny, my brother and my sister? I've come tonight to tell you like the dry bones of Ezekiel. He says, son of man, can these bones live again? Son of man, can these bones live? Can these bones of shattered dreams live again? Can these bones of a seemingly wasted destiny live again? And they concluded and named him Jabez because his mother bore him in sorrow but a time came when Jabez was angry he said oh that thou wouldest bless me in Judges chapter 6 there was a man called Gideon of the Midianites the least in his house and his clan being the least the Bible says he was hiding and an angel appears to him and does not call him by his presence. It's in the character of God to name things, call things that be not. He said, oh thou mighty man of failure. In other words, do you not realize that there is a prophetic destiny? Although you are hiding, but in the realm of the spirit, this is the destiny apportioned for you. Tonight, dry bones will come alive. Because you see, Paul speaking said, there are many voices in the earth. Many of you have heard the voices that are in your media. No jobs. 
no marriages statistics that have no head and tail that scare people the meltdown in the economy death and terrorism everywhere these are voices attempting to contend against the truth of god's word but the bible says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal they are mighty through god to the pulling down of strongholds casting down every imagination doesn't matter where it came from and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of christ is said bringing every thought the word bringing there is compelling every thought to come to the obedience of christ there is a plot against the body of christ every believer's life is under attack the gates of hell launching their best arsenal in this season to try to cripple the prophetic destiny you hear stories of great men falling like a leaf generals and champions this is the plot of the devil trying to cripple families to cripple their finances cripple their health heterogeneous sicknesses that have no head and tail but the bible says in psalm 66 verse 3 how awe inspiring are your ways it said through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves oh they can submit they can submit through the greatness of thy power what affliction did you come here with some of you are here with terminal diseases they say you are ss and your genotype will not change some of you are here trusting god for life partners and marriages that devil that appears in our media and everything that discourages people there are many of us who are just tired of our lives you came here to attempt to find out if there is anything more about your life some of us are here diagnosed of hiv and the doctors have told you you know that there is no cure you're already counting your days have you not read in your bible that the age of the least among them will be like the age of a tree there are some of you standing for your family members there are thousands of people all over the world streaming online connecting with their faith let me tell you something god is too serious to joke with your destiny did you hear what i'm saying There are some of you because of your past mistakes many things have happened around your life son of man can these bones live can these bones live there are some of us here inside and outside the testimony of your life is ichabod you were once men and women on fire especially for us the sisters and you got into all kinds of distractions let no one condemn you there is a bomb in gilead tonight some of you have all kinds of curses and traces of darkness you run to men of god and they give you useless explanations nobody in your family gets married nobody in your family starts a project and completes it in fact, you are the only one who was able to make it to the university. The Bible says the children shall not suffer the iniquities of their parents. Is someone listening to me? There are some of you, there are deaths. Deaths in your family. It looks like there are certain wicked, demonic cycles that happen. Hallelujah. Some of you are brilliant. You wrote your jam by yourself. Wrote Wayek by yourself. You got into the university and your story changed. You will read as if you would die and enter the exam hall and everything will blank out. Tonight that devil is a liar. 
Hallelujah. Tonight we are going to destroy everything that needs to be destroyed. Rebuild everything that needs to be rebuilt. Let your faith just be open tonight. Refuse to be a spectator. Refuse. Don't, don't, no, refuse. Don't say I will clap for other people. No. You can't, some of you are standing. You don't have a seat. Refuse it. The Bible says when Jesus saw their faith, faith can be seen. When Jesus saw their faith, they needed to meet him. The crowd was there. They taught the zinc. They said, we'll negotiate with the owner of the house after I receive the miracle. Tonight is the time when you will forget about your neighbor. If it's your wevon, remove it and keep it. Hallelujah. I came here angry in my spirit because the Lord showed me certain issues that have been buffeting the lives of people that he must answer to the anointing tonight. I tell you, it must answer to the anointing tonight. There are some of you seated here. Listen to me. You are the only hope of your family. You know I'm not lying. You may be the least. Everybody has failed. They are depending on you. And the same hand that brought them down is now trying to bring you down. The mistake the devil made tonight was to allow you to arrive this ground safely. Hallelujah. Moses didn't need to tell people he had been with God. When he came out of that place, the Bible says his face began to glow. When Jesus was born, the Bible says suddenly in the atmosphere, a particular star began to shine. And that star started attracting the people who were relevant in his destiny. The Magi, all of these people began to come and they gave him gifts of gold, frankincense and manna. What has covered your glory tonight? It will answer to the anointing of the spirit. I tell you from the depth of my heart. I'm not motivating you. It will answer to the anointing of the spirit. You are not as bad as people say you are. The devil has given you an identity that not, does not belong to you. And he showed me Joshua the high priest. Although he was a high priest, he was wearing a garment that was not his own. And the Lord says, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. Is this not a reed that I've taken out of the fire? He said, remove that old garment. Many of you will receive tonight a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Whoever has said over his dead body for you to move forward will get what he said. Hallelujah. This is the goal of the miracle service. It's not a time of teaching and discussion. We have three weeks when we sit on the word. Tonight is the time when we demonstrate to principalities and powers that Jesus died and on the third day he arose victorious as king of kings and lord of lords. The Bible says the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. The walls, the systems, and they that dwell therein belongs to him. Hallelujah. And for many of you, that demonic manifestation that makes you to run away from God. There are many of you listening to me. You are where you are because of the stubbornness of your heart. Every time you see true believers, you laugh at them and you mock them. But see the way your life is nosediving. Tonight is the time when you will make it right. I know that there are people here, pastors of different ministries, that came from different ministries. Some of you are quietly seated outside. You came to catch this fire. Gone are the days of monopoly of ministry, where men sit down and brag over nonsense. Tonight, I assure you, that some of you will be lit like the foxes that Samuel lit, that, that, that Samson lit. 
and you will run to the camp of the philistines and burn down everything that is not of god for the bible says whatever tree that has not been planted by god shall be uprooted there are some of you that god needs to open the financial destiny of your families because they have been closed your father is walking your mother is walking you are walking but there's nothing to show forth for it the bible says and in that day they shall no longer use this proverb in israel a time will come and tonight is that time this old proverb that has been used about your family it was said of nathaniel can anything good come out of nazareth the bible says he uses the foolish things the things that makes no sense hallelujah tonight some of you will encounter the favor of god very few people really know what the favor of god is all about 430 years pharaoh vowed not to let the nation of israel go but in 24 hours he didn't let them go he restored to them through favor the, the bible says they spoiled the egyptians without war you can spoil a man without fighting he said they got not into the land by their own sword neither did their hand save them but your right hand because you have shown them favor who are down mountain before god's people tonight say who are down mountain the hand of zerubbabel i'm speaking to families that are suffering without explanation the hand of zerubbabel that began this work that same hand will complete it listen to me let's get who the enemy is here very clear before we start look up the enemy is not your grandmother in the village stop wasting your time the bible has told you straight to the point we wrestle not against say one more time we wrestle not against so don't come here expecting we are going to just talk about your grandmother and grandfather uh -uh. they are only mediums that are being used if at all they are being used the real enemy is satan when they planted wheat the bible says in the night where men slept satan came and planted tears when the lord said he didn't say a wicked he said the enemy has done this the accuser of the brethren and tonight that devil will give way we are not confused about who is going to bow tonight are you hearing me the devil will not confuse us no we are not confused about the person who will bow tonight i'm preparing your spirit so that faith will rise don't be distracted listen let me tell you what demon spirits do in meetings like this when the word begins to come and you are receiving it especially for those of you outside who don't have a seat wicked spirits through friends and people who just came to make noise and let me tell you there is a crowd here if you come to steal anybody's property i'm saying it now even if it's a pin you carry i tell you you will carry a curse upon your life and go back with it this is not the place to come and steal are you listening to me because i'm aware that not everybody in this crowd seriously came for koinonia if you see a pin on the ground leave it there come and receive your miracle and find your way home hallelujah say jesus is lord those outside i tell you do you know that as i stand here i sense the pool of faith from those outside i guess it's because they don't have the convenience of those i mean it from the depth of my heart i know it when i know it when the spirit of faith is upon the people i'm not saying you don't have faith hallelujah and jacob held on to him in the night 
this is what some of you need to do listen before i pray for you you have a role to play tonight the bible says jacob wrestled with god he said god if i perish let me perish you will not come and go back you know there was a time that the lord appeared in a place and he said the lord was in this place and i knew not so when he came again he said i know now you won't go back and the bible says he wrestled with him until it was getting to morning he said what is your name tonight somebody somebody's name your identity will change in the spirit yes 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 it will change it will change the woman with the issue of blood do you know first she was unclean she wasn't supposed to be among the congregation and she said look i don't care which rule i'll break when i receive the miracle i'll go to the sanhedrin and all the people and apologize but for now for 12 years finish all our money doctors and she said if i may but touch tonight someone will need to say lord my seatmate will not distract me your weapon your suit whether you have a chair to sit down or not say lord you will do something in my life let me share with you a testimony and then we'll begin to pray years ago reinhard bonke came to joss and I left Zaria here and I ran to Joss. There were crowds of people. Hallelujah. And while he was ministering, I was lost in that crowd. But I said, God, you must do something in my life. For six hours, I was standing on that ground. There's no hope of going out. Except they will stampede you and you die for nothing. You must stay there till they share the grace. Hallelujah. I came by three in the afternoon and I asked the people, I told them, I want to walk. I must do something. They said, no, they trained the people. I said, train fire, train or no training. I must do something in this place. I cannot see an anointing like this and waste it. Many of you lose value. Listen, it's not enough to believe in God. You must believe in the vessels that he's using. I know ministers have exaggerated this and turned it into idolatry. But it is important that you believe in the vessels that God will use. Hallelujah. And Renard Bonke, I was helping people. I saw people on wheelchairs. While they were wheeling them, I said, please, can I help you? I said, Lord, one day this will happen in my meeting. I saw sick people. I was pushing them. The remaining people were doing work for a crusade. I was connecting with an anointing to change my destiny. Hallelujah. When he finished ministry, a pregnant woman was near me. So the woman had to be leaning on me. My legs were shaking. I said, leg, if you are tired, you can go home. But for me, I'm standing on this ground. Something happened. When Reinhard Bonke finished preaching, he wanted to take water. Suddenly, for the first time, I saw the visible manifestation of the Holy Ghost. I saw a bed that was bigger than this building hovering around the entire hundreds of thousands of people it had silvery linings like this on the wings i thought other people were seeing it and suddenly i remember that saying elijah and elijah he said if you can see if you can see if you can see hear me many people are going to be watching miracles and testimonies but there are a few people here God brought you to see. Because you see, many people just watch. No, 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 but people can look, others see. The Bible says, why we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. There are unseen things happening. And I tell you, not everybody, but some people will carry some anointings. You will be shocked to leave this meeting and you will find yourself reproducing everything that you are seeing. This is not for everybody. But there are people that came here with genuine hunger. Hallelujah. Tonight, be ready to forgive everybody 
I know there are whole families in this place who have fought and turned themselves into pieces. I said, let's come for Koinonia and find out who is the witch this night, once and for all. None of you is the witch. The real enemy is Satan. So don't come here with a mindset to report another person. No. No. Are you listening to me? Destinies that have been tied down will be released. Oh yes. Rise up on your feet. In one minute, I'd like you to pray violently. Say, Lord, now is my time. Now is my time. In one minute, I'd like you to pray. Inside and outside. Now is my time. Lord, do not pass me by. I can't go back with this terminal disease. My marital destiny must open up. My ministerial destiny must open up. That barrenness must leave my life. Pray. Pray. The Lord is in this place. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, I see the angels of the Lord. And every time the Lord opens my eyes to begin to see his angels. It's time for deliverance and emancipation. Whatever has held you bound, it's time for it to answer to the anointing. It will answer tonight. It will answer tonight. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to challenge principalities and powers. Spiritual forces of wickedness. Listen. 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 The devil that is behind the predicaments of your life will be exposed and destroyed tonight. Are you listening to me? Let your faith be open. Because I see the angels of the Lord with swords of fire. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands everybody inside and outside. I'm about to pray. I'm about to pray. We have been raised up with Christ and made to sit above thrones, dominions, and every name that is named, not only in this world, but in the world to come. Hallelujah. Oh my God, the power of God is amazing in this place. Please, ushers, get set. When you have the people, let them come to front. Now we are going to shout the name of Jesus once. I like you to shout it with all your heart. The moment that happens, I tell you, it's like a tornado. The fire of God will sweep across this building. Inside and outside, there will be massive deliverance, especially outside. 
all the people let me have them here are you ready now that name demons bow at that name are you ready now at the count of three one two three Satan be lost every demon every demon come out come out be exposed we expose principalities powers shake it outside the fire of God is falling outside Outside the fire of God. Altars of darkness be set on fire. 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 Be Lift up your heads, oh ye gates. Lift up your heads, oh ye gates. Lift up your heads, oh ye gates. Outside, 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 Every demon power holding anyone captive, release them. Outside the fire of God, there are angels moving with swords of fire outside. I expose the powers of darkness. Every spirit be cast out. Come out. Come out. Hear my voice. Hallelujah. Those outside alone, lift your hands. Your destiny must change tonight. Those outside, at the count of three, I like you to shout the name of Jesus. At the count of three, those outside. Because there are many of you that need massive deliverance upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and the sons of jacob shall possess their possessions are you ready those outside one two three let the power of the Holy Ghost move outside. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall like the dew of heaven. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall. 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 Fall, fall, shake it, 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 shake the power of God is still falling. Bring her here. You are going now. You are going now. You are going now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The fire of the Holy Ghost on you. Come out now. Go out now. Out. Leave her. Let her go. Go. Now, 
The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. Shekata bareke talikaba. Zendepra kalibratu kaprosa. Shekete leke prakadabalaba. The fire of the Holy Ghost upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bring them, please. The power of God is still falling on people. In the mighty name of Jesus. Look, bring her. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Out of her right now. Out. Go out. Go out. The mighty name of Jesus. You are going now. Ketata rekata sezeke parita ramboso breketa lianaba rakapros kosopate lekrete kariata ratariata batapros kataliana bende bros kosoto tobari karia karabash kebrege de balaba. The fire of God from your head to your toe. Let the fire consume you right now. Right now. The power of God is still falling on people. You will not escape. You will not escape. The angels of God are moving around the crowd. Bring that lady. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at my eyes. see you in the spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ do you know this lady has been under heavy demonic influence nothing is moving in her life now you just think the problem of this lady what she needs is counseling this is not counseling this is not about counseling the power of God is still falling on people the works of darkness will be exposed and you will see the way your life will begin to move This is where light and darkness meets. One must bow. Hold on. Do you know what happened to this lady? And this is a warning to many of you. Sometimes when these demon spirits are under fire, they leave but they wait. You go back into the things you used to do, they will re-enter. When a spirit is li leaves a man, the Bible says, it goes through Ari. This is why deliverance without a thorough growth and the teaching of the word is only a waste. Hallelujah. I want you to learn something. Watch this. The Bible says handkerchiefs and aprons. Nothing special about this. I just want to teach you. Especially for our students, school of ministry. Watch what will happen. This is an ordinary handkerchief. What makes it extraordinary? The anointing of the Holy Spirit. The anointing. Watch this. This is a lady under the influence of demons. She's not even looking at me. Leave her alone. Just leave her. Just leave her. You don't need to touch her. The anointing is upon her. Just watch what will happen. Go, go. Leave her right now. You are a wicked spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you.
out of her now out of her right now there's still one more person outside bring her there's still one more person outside come out of her right now devil of darkness out There's one more person outside. All those in front here, yeah, we have to hurry up. Didn't know time had gone. All those in front here, yeah, I'm going to count three. Yeah, I'm here. One person outside. In fact, two, not just one, two. Two outside. Two outside. Two outside. violently under the influence of demons because I saw the angels of the Lord gathered around that person oh salvation has come to this family there's one more person outside no escaping hallelujah yeah i've seen the all right that's the person Now at the count of three, bring this lady. We will shout for your glory. Look at me. Look at me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Look at me. Your time is over in this body. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. Come out of her right now. Come out. Come out. Come out right now. We will shout for your glory. Out. Go. Go. You are going. Hallelujah. See how demon spirits can be powerful. Look at how many people are trying to handle one person. It's somebody that this guy alone will lift. You are going in the name of Jesus. This is Koinonia. Jesus is Lord here. Bring the lady. Okay. You go and wait there. Just leave her. She will obey. Bring this lady. Come. Bring her. Bring her. Bring her. For light and darkness cannot stand. Your time is over. He makes his angels. L listen to what he's saying. Did you hear what he's saying? This is how you just sit down one day you just hear that somebody just died they say how can I lie Shiria? No, 
take the mic. We don't have all of that time. We are trying to do other things. Come out of her right now. Come out. Come out right now. Come out in the name of Jesus. That's how you see one day this innocent lady will just something. Accident or one kind of thing that has no head and tail. Come out in the name of Jesus. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. Shakata kata banadaba. Rakata ta 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 ta. This is what happens in the realm of the spirit when you pray in tongues. You have the opportunity to see it now. Come out. You are bound, rebuked. You are going. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is against you. You are going out of hand now. Come out. Come out. Fire against you. Fire in the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out right now. Out of her. Out of her right now. She can't hold me. She can't touch me. Don't worry. It's the fire. She will touch fire. No matter how mad a madman is, he can't hold fire. Out. Out in the mighty name of Jesus with a loud shout, you are going. Go, go, you must go. I set you free now. No hiding, no hiding. I set you free. Ushers, ushers, leave her. All of you leave her. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Just leave her alone. Leave her alone. You will not cross that building. You will come back. Just leave her alone. You will not cross that building. You will come back. Just leave her alone. Leave her alone. Let her cross. You will see the demonstration of power tonight. Paul said, when I came to you, I didn't come. Just, just leave her alone. She can't go out. No, there are angels that back up the words of leave her. No usher should hold her. No usher should hold her. She will come back here by the force of the Holy Ghost. No usher should hold her. Don't touch her. Don't touch her. The light shines in the darkness. Just leave her alone. She will run and come by the power of the Holy Ghost. There is an agency of the Spirit that compels things to happen. Oh, she will come. She will come. It's by the power of the Holy Ghost. Whatever it takes, that's how powerful the Word of God is. How all inspiring are your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. You don't need to cover her, she will move. The influence of the Holy Spirit will drag her to the front here. The influence, she will run under the power of the Holy Ghost is under the power many of you don't know who the holy ghost is the holy ghost is not an angel the holy ghost is god hallelujah 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 don't worry <laughs> you will see wonders tonight the demonstration of spirit that word will not return back 
until she comes this is how this is what happens when you pray when you speak words god is showing you this is called signs and wonders they are supposed to encourage you you are not just watching movie hallelujah please we have to hurry up there are many other things to do peptic ulcer lift your hands peptic ulcer peptic ulcer you will see how powerless satan is just leave her she must come Peptic ulcer inside and outside. Lift your hands. It's time for you to be healed. Peptic ulcer. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command peptic ulcer. Go. Go. In the mighty name of Jesus, peptic ulcer. Be healed. Now check yourselves. Check yourselves. Listen. Bring this lady. Sister, look at me. As we worship you, let all the world come and see how the mercy we receive from you can set men free. As we worship you, let all this joy that fills our heart bring a hunger and a hope to those. As we bow in adoration and stand in reverence, show your majesty and glory, let your anointing fall. As we declare your name, Lord Jesus, as the only name who saves, let the power of your salvation Fill each heart we pray. Hallelujah. Now, Hallelujah. There is a lady, one of your ear is not working properly. One of your ear is not working, it's like water or something. It started happening a while ago. Please, who is that person? Come out quickly. hallelujah now I want to rebuke every kind of lump every kind of lump breast lump in your breast your neck wherever is the lady here come where is which is the ear this one you believe God can heal you believe he will heal? Of course he will. Everybody watch a miracle. A power that is in the name of the resurrected Christ. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. That devil of darkness. Go! Close the one that is walking. Jesus, 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 Yes, sir. Can you hear with that one? Yes. Could you hear with it like this before? No, sir. Look at this. Look at the miracle. Right here, one ear just open. Look at me. Who knows you with this condition? 
your brother is he here is he here call him because i know there are all kinds of cynical people who are here and think that is stage one if you can act this kind of drama come and act it where is who was the name of your brother victor where are you run out victor your sister has this problem now talk to her ask him say anything Fine. she couldn't hear with one ear look at the miracle rejoice god bless you my dear I get it by eh, eh, eh. I get it by eh. Don't let them go. Uh -uh. I get it by eh. Hold on. I'm seeing a cat. A cat. Come out. Come out. This is what I'm seeing. They are just trying to make it look like they are go gone so that you quietly walk back. This is a cat I'm seeing. It's, I'm not even seeing a human being. I'm seeing a cat. Look at the. You see the way she's positioned? It's not normal. Now in the name of Jesus. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. All over your body now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Shata kata. Rekete pareketa. Shopeketa. Mareketa. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out. Come out. Thou devil. A cat. Come out. Go, go, go. You are going right now. In the name of Jesus, go. Jesus name. Hallelujah. Now, all those listen. All those who are outside Zaria, who came with sick people, please come forward quickly. Outside Zaria, please. If you are in Zaria, we'll minister to you. All those outside Zaria who are sick, find your way to the front now quickly. Please, let's save time. Let's save time. Whether inside or outside, you are sick or you came with a sick person outside Zaria. Come quickly. Please, quick, 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 save time. Jesus is in this place doing wonders. Where are you coming from, my dear? Come. Kaduna South. You're coming from Kaduna South. Who is this? My elder sister Shazi. The devil says he's going to kill her by the September this year. They said he'll kill her by September. Yes, sir. Hold it first. Hallelujah. Please come quickly. HIV, get ready. You came here with any HIV virus. Get set to wait. Bye bye. It's going to go. Mama? Who brought Mama? Please, if you came with any... Who, who brought mama? What's wrong with her? Uh, she's tormented with dead spirit. With what? Dead spirit. Dead spirit? Yes, for how, five years. How do you... What, I don't, I, do I understand what you say? Spirit of death? Dead. How do you know a spirit of death? Because she died? She has gone several places. Oh, that's Nobody what they said. Physician. Does she speak English or how shall, which one? Yes. How, how mama? Uh, Interpreter. Selena. Please come quickly, quickly. Let's save time. Tell her to narrate to us what is what's her problem. Truly, this is the spirit of death. Look at this. Look at how wicked the devil is. What did she say? Tell her the Lord will heal her totally. The Lord will heal her right now. No, come. I'll, be, I'll pray for her in English. She'll tell her in house so that she can believe and receive. Tell her to give me her hands. Mama. Can help her, help her with this thing she's holding, please. What is this? Wait. Tell her to stand up. What's that? Goro. Oh, her leg is paining her. What is this? Who gave her? Native doctor. Is, is
Is it a native doctor? She bought it. Eh, from where now? What is it for? Eh? What's this? Anyway, let's pray for her. Tell her the Lord will heal her right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, thou devil of darkness, spirit of death, go out of this woman right now. Tell her she'll feel something moving around her leg to her chest. In the name of Jesus, let that fire run through your body and set you free. Tell her her legs will be strong now. And the sickness will leave. I bring you life and I set you free. Stand up. Tell her to stand up. Tell her to stand up. Tell her let's walk. Tell her to follow me. Mama. So kibini. So kibini muche. So. How is she feeling now? I see him. Look at this. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord perfects her in the name of Jesus. What's wrong with you? Who brought you? You came by yourself? Ah, uh, please, you won't allow a little girl come like this without me. Please, next time, if you are bringing somebody, let's know. What? Come, come, sweetheart. Look at me. You speak English? How are you? What's wrong with you? It's my stomach. Your stomach. What's wrong with your stomach? It's paining you since when? Since on Saturday. Since on Saturday. You love Jesus. You believe he'll heal you. Yes. All right, say after me, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you for your healing. Yes. Say, Jesus. Jesus. I believe in your power. I believe in you. All right, watch what happens to you now. Out. In the name of Jesus. She's free. Please give. I have a dislocation. Dislocation. In my thoracic lumbar spine. I use a lumbar corset. We need to start. You know, I said this doctor's thing. I think we need volunteer doctors. Eh? Who is a doctor, or at least in 500 level, or 600 level, for God's sake? Okay, Holy Spirit, help us. You said you have a dislocation where? My thoracic lumbar spine due to an accident. thoracic lumbar spine is part of the body. That's the most important thing. Where is it, my dear? No, 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 no. You don't need to open it. Okay. Do you believe Jesus will heal you right now? Do you believe it? What couldn't you do before? So many things. Like what? Give me one example. Just give me one. Okay. At times. If you are healed now. Uh, when I don't use the lumbar corset, I feel You pains. have a lumbar corset right now? Yes, on my body. Wait, without the lumbar corset, you cannot move. I can move, but I feel pain. But you feel pain. Yes. That devil is a liar. Amen. Huh? Are you ready to remove the lumbar corset? Hold my hands. You're a doctor or a brother? Eh? 600 level. Ah, you're a doctor now. What will stop you from graduating? Come, Jarissa. So explain to us what does this really happen? Okay, she what, says why, she uh, has a dislocation. Lumbar on, what? On the thoracolumbar uh, spine. The thoracolumbar spine are the vertebras. That's the thoracic and the lumbar vertebras. Okay. Along the spinal cord. So if there's a dislocation there. It what does it do? Any dislocation there. Why didn't you study medicine? Leave it alone. Any, All right. Any dislocation there will make her one not to bend properly. Okay. It might also make her not to walk properly. But she's using a lumbar corset now. Okay, she's using a corset. That corset is used to also correct the dislocation. Okay. That is that is medically using. Okay. Uh, How long does medical. it take to correct medically? Um, it could take three months. Okay. Or sometimes six months. Okay. Almost two years. You have been using for almost two years. That devil is a liar. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, you feel the power of God go through your body now. You send something flowing through your body. The 
mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Look at me, sister. What's happening to you? What do you feel happening to you? Do you feel anything happening to you? You're healed. Remove it. Can you remove it? Not yet. You can't remove it. You're afraid. Why not? A female, we didn't mean to do it here. A female, low oh, female, if you're a male, go out of that place. Remove it and come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What am I seeing with the eyes? There's somebody you are not seeing well. You are not seeing well with your eyes. Hey, God help us. Thanks. Your eyes. If it, your only is a serious problem. This is not the only person. Your eyes. You? What's this? My sister. She's afflicted with um, undiagnosable disease. Undiagnosable disease? Yes, she has lumps all over her body and now she Where has she? lost her sight. She's outside Zaire. I'm it. starting a girl for her. Hold it. Lord, restore her vision right now. Perfectly. In the name of Jesus. Come and stand quickly. Who and who is not seen well? Since when? 2006. Please come and stand here quickly. We are, we are, 2006. 2000 and what? Six. Remove your glasses. All of you lay your hands on your eyes. The power of God will come upon you right now. In the name of Jesus, partial or total blindness be gone. Be gone right now. Every spirit responsible, you will live by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ, put down your hands, check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Any improvement? Check yourself. Check yourself. Any improvement? What couldn't you see before? You couldn't see far. You couldn't see far. Like where? Still blood. You are seeing well now. Still blood. It's still blood. What of you? I can see the time. You can see the time now. What is the time? Five minutes past nine. Sister, come. The lady with the lumbar corset. Follow me. Let's walk. Let's walk. Come. Let's walk. Bring the corset. Lift it up. Come. That devil is a liar. How do you feel here? Do you feel any improvement? Talk. Let's go. Come. Walk as fast as you can. Could you bend down before? Try bending down now. Just bend down. Up. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Up. Come. Come up. Can you? Can you try jumping? Do this. Look at this. Something's moving. Something's changing. Look at, look at this. This is a miracle. Something's moving. This is what she brought that she was using. That devil is a liar. Something's moving. Sees glory. Sister. You are healed and healed forever. That devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus. My dear, could you see this time before? I always in the class, but I don't know the secret. Okay, look at me. Come. Look at the time. What is the time? Nine minutes past nine. Ten minutes past. Nine. Could you see that before? No, sir. Absolute healing. Thank you, Lord Jesus. What again? Look at that. There is. Okay, well, you've seen the time. Aha. There's a writing there. Can you try to read it? That writing. Try. I can see mine. Aha. Uh -huh. 
You can't see it very well. Okay, don't worry about the ones that are written in cursive. Can you see the one down? Am I taller than you? Come, come up. All right, see it now. Let me see what you can read. One to read. Just try to read. Don't, don't be afraid. Don't worry. We'll pray for you again and again. I can see mine. Uh -huh. I can see why mine. May. My month of possessing divine something, something. Let me pray for you. Look at me. Come out of her. You are a spirit. Out. Out. You are going. You can't stand. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost correcting her eyes. In the name of Jesus. Let us stand up and check. Okay, let me pray for you very quickly. Anyone with HIV inside or outside, please come out quickly. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. HIV, quickly. HIV, please come. We have to hurry up because the ministers must come up. We, there are lots of things we need to do. HIV, please don't be ashamed. This is a family. Nobody knows you. Come and take your healing and go back. Okay, yeah. You can stand for somebody too. Go. We didn't say you are the one who has the AIDS. You can stand for somebody. Abba. Whenever you come for Koinonia, listen, let me tell you something. Don't just come. This is a family, this is not a church. Please, HIV, quickly. Either you have HIV or you are standing for someone. It doesn't matter. Quickly, HIV, HIV. Eh? Two of you, come, come quickly. Lay your hands on your eyes. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus. Be healed right now. In the name of Jesus. HIV, whether for yourself, I'm not going to ask you. It doesn't matter. Please. This is past nine. We have to rush. Because everybody here must go back with a testimony in the name of Jesus. Now, I'm going to lay hands on you. Whether you have it or you are standing in for someone, it doesn't matter. Ask them to go back and go for a check. For check up. HIV be healed now. 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 HIV go. You are the devil. Go. HIV be gone. Be gone. Make sure you go for your test. Be gone. Go. Go. Come, 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 come. come out of her. Come out of her. Out of her right now. Come out of her. Come out of her right now. Go. Be gone in the name of Jesus. HIV be gone. For yourself and for the people you are standing for. Come, sweetheart. Be gone in the name of Jesus. Be gone in the name of Jesus. Be gone in the name of Jesus. Shabaka tara taliada. Rekate balakoso pregedebash. Be gone in the name of Jesus. Go! 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 Leave it right now in the name of Jesus. Be free. Go! 
gone right now. So we say, to the way to before your presence came and Come out of here. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what your sickness is. Please come out right now. We'll minister with the ministers. You're sick. You came here with any sickness. Please come out. No matter where you are, just come. Just come. Just come. Outside or inside. Come and stand quickly. Please, please hurry up. Just spread yourselves around. No matter how many you are, we will wait. No matter how many. This is a miracle service. Just line yourself. Line yourself. Pastor Jakes. Bishop, Pastor Williams, please go back quickly, 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 everybody. If there is no space, stand. We must pray for you. Can go back to the way you were to me. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Even if you are at Second Equa, still come. Don't let the devil stop you. We came here for you. If there is no space, stand there. As they are praying for others, if you are here, go back to your seat. If you are outside, ushers help them. They take this role. Listen, listen. As hands come on you, while you are here, be praying. Are you listening to me? The moment hands are laid on you, some of you demons will come out. Some of you, you will be healed. When that happens, as you walk back to your seat, check yourself sorry we don't have time to be taking testimonies the time is not enough hallelujah one day we'll try and make miracle service in night vigil in jesus name so that we can have time to minister hallelujah we're going to pray for you hallelujah we have the one-time president of fcs before in our midst pastor kenny please celebrate him sir please you can come and join us hallelujah can come and join us as we pray hallelujah please spread yourselves don't just come and say it's me you want to talk it doesn't matter who touches you i tell you while you are here if i were you don't just stand watching uh -uh. say lord this is it oh this is it i came for my healing i came for my deliverance and that must happen in the name of jesus christ worshipers are you ready Please, let the atmosphere be charged. Those of you who are sitting, make sure you are praying and connect. You may not be sick in your body, but there are areas of your life. Just be patient and let us minister. In Jesus' name, sir. Go, go, go. In the name of Jesus, your healing comes. Whoever you are standing for is done in Jesus' name. As we pray for you, please just go back. Hallelujah. It's the power of God. Heal. Heal. Lumps will disappear. Lumps will disappear. Lumps will disappear. Lumps will disappear. Jesus. Shataka Baladabakaria. Go. You are healed. Let the river flow Let the Go. river flow Let the river flow Go, be healed Let the river flow And refresh my soul Come out, come out, come out Fire upon you let the river flow. The fire of the Holy Ghost is in this place. Be healed. It doesn't matter what the sickness is. Fire. Sheka karia. So peleta. So peleta. Shaka karia. And refresh. 
shall be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus come out fire upon you right now fire upon you in the mighty name of Jesus you are going from your feet to your hair fire upon you right now in the name of Jesus come out come out come out come out come out come out out of her right now the fire of the Holy Ghost take your sickness and go in the name of Jesus deliverances are happening here miracles are happening don't worry the fire of God is on her I'm still with you everything has changed nothing is the same everything has changed for me come out come out come out everything has changed Nothing in the same. Everything has changed. Everything has changed. Everything has changed. Everything has changed. 
devil, cause and sickness and infirmity must go. The name of Jesus. Come, come, come. Those of you there, please come, come, find your way. There's enough space in the front. Everything has changed. The name of Jesus. Everything be healed. Out of him. Come out of him. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Out of him. Out. Fire on you. Fire on you. Fire on you. Fire on you. Will sing no other name, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. My heart will sing, my heart will sing no other Heal. name. Whatever the Jesus. sickness is, No other name. I say Jesus. We call you Jesus. I say my heart will sing. No other name. Jesus. Jesus. My heart will sing. Jesus. Jesus. I 
I call you Jesus. Jesus. My heart to sing. No other name. No other name. No other name. Jesus. I call you Jesus. Fire on you. My heart to sing. Fire on you. No other name. We call you Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, I tell you, my heart will sing, my heart will sing. No other name, no other name, no other name. Jesus, we call you, Jesus. We call you, we call you. My heart will sing. No other name. That spirit tormenting you. Go, Jesus. Go, 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 Jesus. Go. See this, she will cough out poison. She will cough out poison. She will cough out poison. Tabala Capresa Tabala Caprondos. Come out of her. This is where light stands against darkness. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. Come out of her. Out, come out, out, go. Hallelujah. Lost or saved, find a way. At the sound of your great name, out, come out, go, go, out. At the sound yeah, of your great name, come out, come out. The enemy, he has to flee. Of your great name, seek a kill and dead are Come out, come out, come out. Your destiny must open up. Come out, come out, Jesus. Worthy is the land that was slain. He made her to break her hand. This evil spirit. That hand is getting healed. Come out. Come out. Go. Go. free right now
Oliva. Don't touch her. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. Come out of her now in the name of Jesus. What kind of noisy demons? These days, demons are becoming so noisy. Go, go. Huh? Come for Koinonia. The demons are even making noise more than the people. Ah, this is my lady. Look at, since, because we didn't release this girl, she has been lying down here. Can you imagine? Ah, ah. Sister. You will remain here. <laughs> You 
are free in Jesus name you are free this is a man I'm seeing this is not a woman this is a man you want to hold my shoes hold it hold it hold it don't worry hold it they are shoes of fire don't worry just hold it it will burn you for nothing don't worry he makes his angels spirits and his ministers everything you touch is fire it burns you where's the other person I'm looking for come back now now it will burn you this fire will burn you you don't know what you are look at this lady is arming herself for nothing Come back. Why did you hold my legs? She can't cross. Don't worry. There are angels. She will come back with the same speed she went under the influence of the spirit. It's time for you to go. In the name of Jesus. Don't worry, everybody, we are going to pray. Just be patient. Everyone, just leave her alone. She will come. It's the force of the Holy Ghost. It will pick her from where she is and she will come. The same thing happened to this lady. This is not trial and error. This is the spirit at work. This is not about displaying jamboree. No, we are very serious people. Just leave her. She can't stand up from here. Remove ushers don't worry leave her leave her she can't stand up she will not be able to stand up from here stand up if you can just stand up if you can if you can stand up stand up we have to hurry up these things waste just leave her leave her she can't stand up no impossible did you bring your prayer requests prayer request everybody pass your prayer request to the person at the last at the end please let's hurry up quickly Come back here. Come back here. Just leave her. Come, come and stand here. Now come and stand here. Come and stand here. Please pass your prayer request quickly. Come out now. Come out of her. Pass, pass your prayer request. Please hurry up, pass your prayer request. In the presence of angels, with God's glory on the wings, like the voice of many waters, I can hear the angels sing. You are holy, 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 holy. You are holy, holy, holy. Please, everybody.
everybody stand up stand up please inside and outside ushers hurry up please if you have not written those on facebook and those on the internet all those streaming online please they can be part of it We have a God that answers prayers. Please hurry up, hurry up, ushers. If you've not written, just scramble it quickly. Please, one minute. You can see that we're out of time. Honestly, the time is, is just not enough. But God is faithful. God will still do what he will do. Sister, it's time to sleep. It's time to sleep. Quickly, quickly, please. A glorious outside. Are there ushers helping out? Who is here to? A miracle walker. You are a miracle walker. Please quickly, quickly. You are a glorious God. God is a miracle worker. God is a glorious God. Now, the revelation behind writing prayer requests, listen please, and bringing it here. The Bible says in the days of Hezekiah that they wrote a letter. There was a situation that threatened him. And the Bible says he took it to the temple before the altar and he laid it before God and told God what it was and God solved the problem. So that's the spiritual revelation behind what you are doing. Hallelujah. Let me invite the minister, sir. We have a God that answers prayers. Pastor Sam, as we pray on this, I'd like you to stretch your hands. If you are outside, just stretch your hands to the screen. If you are outside, stretch your hands to the screen. We have received countless testimonies. Please, ushers, if there are still people, very quickly, very quickly. Those online, let them know that we are with them in the spirit. Everyone begin to pray in tongues. Everyone begin to pray in tongues. Lord, solve problems. Break burdens. In the name of Jesus, upon this altar, we present this before you. Turn these prayer points to testimonies, O oh God. Shake it, take it, break it, take 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 it, Lord, move on behalf of your people from all over the nations and online. There are people trusting you for miracles. Lord Jesus, honor this request by the power of the Holy Ghost. 
Let there be miracles, oh God. For the sake of your son, Jesus, you have made this place a place of signs and wonders. Father, in the name of Jesus, we call for miracle jobs. We cause doors to be open in the name of Jesus. Amen. We bring healing and deliverance to families. Let there be financial breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Amen. We call for health in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every high blood pressure case goes down. Those that trust in God to heal the needs of their loved ones, their mothers specifically. The Lord touches them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord brings a breakthrough in your academics in the name of Jesus. For every prayer point here, the breath of God goes upon it in the name of Jesus. We release healings from the four corners of the earth. Breakthroughs and blessings. Miracles, miracles, miracles. Let the windows of heaven be opened in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory in the name of Jesus. We pray. Give Jesus praise for this request. Everybody stand up as I prophesy to you. Hallelujah. Please. The Bible says, can these bones live again? He said, only down the west. I tell you, in this whole miracle service, this is the part that I love best. Where we begin, because this is where the creative power of God moves in like an arrow to just meet situations. Hallelujah. As I make these prophetic declarations under the anointing, I'd like you to shout amen. Amen means let it be so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Those outside, make sure you participate. All of you lift your hands above your head. Say, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. Believe his prophets and you shall prosper. Lord, I come as only one sent with no ability of myself. I command right now every door that is closed over your destiny, let it be opened right now. Be open right now. Be open right now. Be open right now. Be open right now. Every closed door, I command it, be open right now. Every situation in your life that is more than your ability, you have prayed, you have fasted. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, I command those mountains, be leveled right now. Be leveled right now. Be leveled right now. Be leveled right now. Every yoke of bondage, over any family here I'm speaking to families right now because I see ancient doors with chains right now every chain over every family wherever they are in the name of Jesus chains be broken chains be broken chains be broken Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Hallelujah. Every yoke and every cause of poverty. Oh, you need to lift your hands for this. Over your life, your loved ones, and your family. Every chain of financial bondage under this anointing tonight that yoke be broken in the name of Jesus 
Financial doors open. Financial doors open. Financial doors open. Doors of contracts, doors of opportunities, doors of breakthrough, doors of breakthrough. Financial doors, no power will stop you. No demon will stop it. Hallelujah. Can I prophesy to students here? Lift your hands. Every curse, every ordinance. He told Job, he said, in six things shall you be delivered. Yes, seven things. One of it is the scorching of the tongues. Every cause of mental blockage. The power of God will fall on a lot of people on this. Every cause. Shatatatata. Be free. Be free. Be free. I release you from academic prisons. Come out of academic prisons. Come out of academic prisons. Come out. Come out. Come out. The curse of carryovers. The curse of carryovers. Let it be broken now. Let it be broken now. Haya. I tell you, mighty things are happening inside and outside. All those long overdue for admission, whatever is holding you, Shata, Boso, Beke, Reketa, I curse it right now in the name of Jesus. Final year students. Do we have final year students here? Yeah. In the name that is above all names. Every Pharaoh that said you will not graduate this night, I prophesy to you, these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. We graduate you in this place. We change policies in faculties, in departments, emergency meetings be held for your sake. Let curses be waved in the name of Jesus. Anyone script that is missing in this place, any missing script, Shapokata, Rekete Leketa, Mabroskotia. The Bible says, and the donkey of Kish, the father of Saul, was missing. The Bible says the prophet told Saul, he said, go back, for the ass has been found. I prophesy to you, that script be found now. Let the angels of restoration go to every department, every faculty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And Elijah told Ahaz, Saddle your ass and run, for I hear my spirit, the sound of the abundance of rain. And the Bible says, Elijah Ahaz had gone ahead of Elijah. Elijah seemed to be retrogressing. And then he kept praying. The Bible says, suddenly, the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. He gathered his loins and used his feet. I command, right now, shata, kata. You will run like Elijah. Let the hand of God come upon you. In 2013, run like Elijah. Run like Elijah. Run like Elijah. Restoration. Restoration advancement restoration 
advancement. Hallelujah. There is a plot of darkness. Listen. Over vessels that carry the anointing of God. The rate at which anointed men are compromising on spiritual things. From immorality to all kinds of case of scandal. Especially immorality. This is an ongoing plot. Because every time you represent something to the body. The devil will try to make you a victim of your message. Right now I pray. Katabalataria. And the sons of Issachar had an understanding of the times. This is a plot. Some of you are already falling victims of it. You carry ladies to your room and you are laughing. You are just sitting there. You are dressing loosely and carelessly. They are also dressing loosely and carelessly. And you are laughing. You don't know it's a plot to throw you. He says she has cast down many. Yea, mighty men have been thrown by her. He said her ways are the ways of death. Lift your hands. That spirit that wants to throw mighty men, I put a seal of the blood upon you. It will pass over you. I command that devil of immorality and for married people, adultery and unfaithfulness. I curse it right now in the name of Jesus. Let the spirit of genuine holiness return to the body. He said, for who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord and who shall stand? Listen, young men, let me warn you. Be careful. Any man can fall at any level. Don't let the devil deceive you. Some of you are already becoming careless with your life because of little anointing here. Don't let any mentor or father or anybody deceive you. You must maintain a heart of inadequacy before God. The moment you sense that every time I go to God, I cry. I say, Lord, is it is there seed of lust in my life? Or I don't say I'm an apostle or man of God. If let me tell you, the Bible says, He who hides his sins will not prosper. Many of you don't know the reason why some people rise in anointing later, they just keep quiet. It always starts in the secret. But whatever is happening in the secret will not stand for too long. It must speak. Samson slept with Delilah. Who knew? But one day his eyes came out and it was a sign. I pray. I pray. Some of you who have been taught messages that are not consistent. I'm not condemning your church. But there is a plot to dethrone mighty men. Mighty men are falling like chickens. We do not condemn them, but you must be warned. Are you listening to me? Say in the name of Jesus. I receive the spirit of holiness, the spirit of purity. I mortify my body. Shatakapa as an instrument of righteousness. Sin cannot have power over my body every habit in this place masturbation pornography what again reading useless magazines that don't have the word of God don't say it does not matter let me tell you ungodly music that does not carry the presence of God right now in the name of jesus that appetite i take it out of your life forever i take it out of your life forever ladies only ladies lift your hands any guy who is already in your life or is about to come to your life and it's a plot of darkness to rob you of your prophetic death bring that lady because that's our problem that's the spirit speaking bring that lady right now in the name of jesus i break that relationship from the realm of the spirit
that guy will leave this girl i break it from the realm of the spirit i break it right now from the realm of the spirit in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus out <laughs> out in the name of jesus go go hallelujah I want to pray for favor lift your hands some of you have struggled you have done all you know to do i tell you listen favor is one of the anointings god has blessed us with in this ministry you don't need to you don't need to have eyes to see that what is happening is the favor of god i want to release it upon you father higher shata kapa Madada brekete. Lord, are these not your people? Have you not brought them to favor them? Right now, let the oil of favor from this building right to the end outside. Let the anointing for favor move across this building now. Move across this building now. Take it. Take it. Take it, take it. The favor anointing, shake it, take a lie. Be distinguished. I place a mark upon you. Be distinguished. Now look at me. Lift your hands. Every cycle of late marriages, lift your hands, please. Because that's why some of you are here. There's no need to be ashamed. There are some of you that are supposed to be married. Every cycle. Especially for those of you who is not only you. Look at me. Look at me. Come here. Come and sit down here. Leave her. Leave her alone. Come now. Come and sit down here. Just leave her alone. Come and sit down right here and be quiet. You will do it right now. Are tired of unnecessary noise. Leave her. She will come and sit down. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, please. We have to hurry up. It's past 10. I command right now. Every voice that is speaking against the marital destiny of people here. You are beautiful. But no man will come to ask you out. You are responsible. Right now. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. I command marriages. Receive it supernatural marriages. Before the end of 2013. For you and your loved ones. I establish it. In the realm of the spirit. Now I pray against accidents. I put a mark. Of protection upon you. No demon power will be able to cause you to die either from accident, sickness, or any act of terrorism in the name of Jesus. Any armed robber or assassin coming to your house or your parents' house, they will die before they get there. Any property that has been stolen in your house or in your life, I command it to be returned. I command it to be returned. I command it to be returned. Everything that has killed your prayer life, lift your hands. This is where the whole problem starts from everything that has destroyed your world life the passion for the things of the spirit right now that dry bone from the realm of the spirit oh this will come like an impartation my god i pray like a winnowing fork 
that is uprooting evil I rekindle the fire upon every altar prayer fire prayer fire prayer fire prayer fire what fire what fire what fire what fire prayer fire hallelujah now i want to impart the gift of the spirit please lift your hands for the gift of the spirit are given to profit with us. this will be the final thing i'll do and then we'll take the altar call gifts of the spirit some of you came here especially those who are pastors who came here you mustn't see me to receive on behalf of yourself and your ministries look up it takes humility for the glory of god to grow in your life the anointing can be charismatic it can be attractive but you need to be humble i'm going to pray lift your hands i'm just going to pray in tongues for one minute and there will be a mighty demonstration of the spirit you will need to remove receive it please you will need to receive it i would like to hear the sound of the cymbal as i begin i'll just pray in tongues and different if god leaves me i'll mention them but please those outside it will come like a mighty wave this is where the holy ghost finds expression lift your hands Mareko shoseke rebo sopriata masaka tele koriata so 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 ke te 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 so pariata mabaka te 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 gift of prophecy gift of healing take it take it take it take it gift of healing take it prophetic gift take it take it word of knowledge take it take it word of wisdom take it gift of faith let it fall on you gift of faith gift of faith descending of spirits gifts of administration and leadership receive it receive it administration leadership take it take it Take it, take it, take it. The working of miracles, the working of miracles. Take it, take it, take it. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, glory. Now, look at me. All of you have seen the things that God is doing in this place. You have experienced the hand of God in a mighty and an unusual way look at me there are many of you tonight god is calling you listen inside and outside some of you have never taken god seriously he can change your life you don't have to continue living the way you are hallelujah you have seen what god can do you can see that satan is the one behind these things I'm going to make an altar call right now there are many of you outside you came either because you were invited or you were told you would come and see the demonstration of the spirit but the bible says for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believes in him many of you have journeyed tonight find rest jesus is calling if you've never given your heart to the lord or you have once given your heart to the Lord but you backslid because of the cares of the life 
of this life we show you love tonight please everybody stand this is the greatest miracle i'm going to count one to ten i want you to run no matter how far you are outside please don't let anybody stop you inside here i like you to run and come and kneel down here i'll just count one to ten please don't stay back one start running clap for them everybody start running i didn't say walk run 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 come and kneel down here two don't sit back three thank you young and old run and come four run to jesus five six that devil is a liar don't wait till 10 is counted no matter how far you are outside you can run don't be ashamed seven don't lose this opportunity because of your friends there are some of you seated outside god wants to give you a new life my brother my sister eight there are two more counts and we're out nine Ten. Hallelujah. Now all of you here, thank you for not being ashamed. This is a family. Lift both of your hands high to Jesus Christ. In a way you will never forget. Say this after me. This is not a special number. It's the prayer. The greatest prayer. I want you to shout it. Let the devil hear you say it. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I accept that I'm a sinner unable to help myself but today I come to you with an open heart I ask you to forgive me cleanse me with your blood give me a new beginning I denounce sin and Satan I declare according to your word that I'm born again. Jesus is Lord of my life. Holy Spirit, come and live in me. The power of sin, the power of Satan is broken in my life. From today, forward ever, backward never. In the name of Jesus. Can you celebrate them, everybody? Please look at me. Thank you so much for making this brilliant decision. Daddy, you can put down your hands, sir. Thank you for this decision. This is the best decision you would have made. Now we are going to follow you up, get you filled with the Holy Spirit, and teach you certain foundational truths. Hallelujah. You're going to have a special meeting with Pastor Jakes. Sir. Okay. On Sunday, hallelujah, Pastor Jakes will not be around tomorrow. He's ministering in the conference. So, Sunday, what time, sir? Four, four. Four. Please, Sunday, four on the dot. Just be around chapel, just close to the chapel book stand there. Yeah. And Pastor Jakes will come and he will talk with you. Hallelujah. Thank you for this great decision. Please follow the ushers. They will have your details and you'll be back. Celebrate them, everybody. I'm sorry, we're so out of time. Now, you're worshiping with us for the first time. Please. All of you come in and come and stand here. We have a prayer for you. We're rounding up. This is your first time. Koinonia, give them a big, big God bless you. We love you. God brought you. No matter where you are, please let me pray for you. Give me the opportunity to speak over your life. Quickly, 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 please. There are so many people. Koinonia, keep clapping. Thank you for coming. Keep coming. Thank you, mommy. Keep coming. Koinonia, are you seeing what God is doing here? Bring them, bring them, come. Please come, quickly. I have a prayer for you. Don't go without receiving it. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. The Lord brought you by his spirit. This is Koinonia. Meeting put together by Eternity Network International. Hallelujah. We are here every Friday celebrating the awesome things that God is doing. How many of you were blessed tonight? I assure you, you will never be the same. Never. You will go back. Your priorities will change. Your values will change. Your passions will change. Hallelujah. We're going to pray for you. Everyone in this house is anointed. And I tell you, as we speak over your life, receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Saints of God, stretch your hands as we pray over them. Prophesy over their lives. We call you blessed in the name of Jesus. The Lord gives you testimonies. You will go back and meet open doors. We bless you with a hunger for the Holy Spirit. A hunger for the word of God. A hunger for the life of prayer. We command financial breakthroughs. We command breakthroughs on all sides. The devil has no power over your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We bless you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for coming. We'd like to see you again and again. We pray that the Lord will bless you. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salman. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing. Keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.